hello guys you're welcome to this youtube channel just uh, click on the subscribe button if you are new here and if you are whole here thanks for coming back again so we are looking at the uh, um, WAHEC 2025 biology practical so these might be likely questions you may come across and then we talk about the possible specimen you might come across as well in your biology practical and then we don't assure you or give you exact questions here or this video should not be used for any means of a examination or practice i think it should be used wisely to uh, hate the success of your examination so we're going to start with our own specimen here here we have the bean weevil so we need to look at the structure and the level first so the bean weevil has uh, a body part just like every other insect it belongs to the class insecta and the family of chrysomeldea so um i've haven't known this uh looking at the structure we have the head part which is the thorax, and we have the abdomen so if you look at the labels very well you see there are four wings and you have part of the abdomen which is uh, covered by uh, the wing so you can see there's a second and third segment covered by the wings then we have the thorax segment which is the head region and then the first three pairs of leg which is the ones that are forward now you see uh, the part label rostrum this rostrum is actually for piercing of uh, uh, food products like greens peas um, legumes okay leguminous plants yeah and maybe peas cow peas lentils lentils and so on so they pair this uh let's use legumes as example legumes so like bean just like we have said so when they pair this they allow their female to lay eggs there so the eggs can survive and then grow into adults so that is it then another thing is uh these being with food are not am full they are not actually harmful but and they do not carry any disease but they could damage and destroy food products that are stored then the economic importance is that they affect the farm produce the stored farm produce which are the produce of legumes and uh, leguminous crops and then peas and cow peas so that is it for specimen a you might come across any question of such to uh, answer okay in addition they have uh, the mouth part is a strong mandible i know of course the antenna is purposely for signal and to respond to stimulus so now let's move to uh, the second which is a uh, specimen b now the effect of specimen a on being is what we are saying in specimen B. So now, specimen A, which is being weevil, uh, we are is going to drill a hole in the bean to form this. So, and this is one of the results when the bean weevil infested the uh, stored leguminous product. So, uh, we talk about the, the purpose for burying this hole is for the females to lay egg and then so that the eggs will survive and at the same time for the purpose of food because they consume this leguminous plant and uh, uh, peas so that is for specimen b now we have specimen c which is a water leaf water leaf so now but what I leave name is Talinum fruticosum. Talinum fruticosum. Spell T A L I U. I'm talking about this. So Talinum fruticosum. So it is an herbaceous plant. When you say an herbaceous plant, that means it is an herb. Then it is a perennial plant 
let's look at the description in terms of the succulent stem it has alternate leaves and then the leaves appear swollen and fleshy then where can you find them they are hydrophytes which means you can find them maybe in uh, uh, ponds the banks of ponds streams and maybe in shallow water so they they are found where we with the moist region so then we also have uh, the fact that they are rich in amino acid and vitamin c so they are being consumed by animals and then they are also a very good source of vitamins for human so then that is about uh, water leaf uh, which you call spinach in english so then we have the quill feather which is specimen d now um in the quill feather we have uh, what we call the contour which is the hard part of it and we have uh, the side that is um, the fluffy sides the fluffy sides that are used for uh, flights and at the same time for regulation of body temperatures then maintenance of uh, I mean for insulation and sometimes for display so this uh, feather is actually active in some bird for flight um, mind you for fowls they may not fly because the uh, the feather they possess is not really built for flights so they use that as a, a means of insulation maintenance of temperature and all that and also a sensory receptor so the quick part is the one removed from the hem of those birds so now these uh, feathers are made of keratin which is a type of protein which is uh, strong enough for them which uh, uh, for flight and for the purpose of which it's, it's been uh, used for so that is a uh, specimen d now we move to he which is just the longitudinal section of a pineapple which you can also see here so this is the real life image of it so when you cut the pineapple uh, into two halves longitudinally that is what we have now the name for pineapple is ananas communis ananas communis that is a n a n a s that is the genus name then the species name is communis c o m m u n i s so it is a fibrous root system plant then uh, it has the roots it has stem then the fruits which is the pineapple that is being consumed because it's rich in vitamins it has a lot of health benefits for uh, human especially the women the women so it has the fruit and the seed when it's mature so when the pineapple grows when the pineapple plant grows it has the fruit the seed uh, the maturity stage if you look at the label we have some part of the uh, longitudinal session we talk about the flesh itself we talk about the liquid the shell which is the outside the pan or you call it ring then we have the leaf bracts we have the fruitlets uh, we have the vascular bundles which is uh, uh, majorly at the center if you check this particular one you see it there a little bit thicker where the flesh comes around then we have the core so um, that is it then uh, we can talk about the uh, the property of the leaf so the leaf it has a short stout stem the stem is actually very short where it stands on we, okay sorry we could not show you the full plant here yeah? so uh, then we have uh, the leaf looks like a sword shape leaves with needle like tips so and then at the end of the leaves you have a spine on the margin which is at the tips of the leaf then the leaf is kind of waxy which means it's waterproof so it cannot be wet and then can be uh, okay the pineapple plant could be productive for about five to seven years so which means after harvesting 
he could keep producing fruit for about five to seven years so that is for uh, specimen he so let's go to specimen f now specimen f is the um the cross section of uh what you call it the um lateral section of a uh, orange that is citrus senesis so uh, talking about the features you know the we have the epicap or which you can also call the exocap the mesocap which is the next layer to the epicap then you have the endocap then in the endocap you have the seed then you have the succulent air where waters have been uh, the uh, the juice is being stored so it's a good source of amino i mean uh, ascorbic acid which serves as a uh, vitamin c and then you can see the seed so we talk about uh, the, the cross section you may be asked to draw this just make sure the informations are there in details and you follow the specification of the drawing so that makes it uh, for specimen f so you can just find more on them in order to get it now we have the specimen g which is a raw head of a fowl so if you look at the raw head of a fowl is made up of uh, the outer shell and then the inner part is made up of the albumen which is the white liquid part and uh, it looks uh, slippery and uh, sticky so then the center i mean which we call the yolk the yolk is yellowish uh, and it varies you can have uh, light yellow and then deep yellow yolk so uh, one of the property you talk about when you talk about the raw one is the shell then on the content of the shell which includes the albumen which you call the egg whites and then the yolk so one thing is also that as the egg cages that that means as the egg gets old the yolk begins to absorb more water from the um, egg white so and then it becomes bigger wider and flatter so that is it so when you now check this specimen g like looking at it this it could be a picture of a, a cooked one so you would see the label the chalaza that connects the yolk with uh, the other region so you also have the hair space right here then you also have the yolk itself and every other part also the liquid part which is a uh, colorless is called the egg white or albumin then you have the fibrous layer the fibrous layer you can see the little <coughs> arrows then you have the hex shells too hex shell which is the outer part and the yolk so these are the parts of it now we have a specimen H specimen H is just a test tube that contains water so you might be asked varieties of question about water and then maybe the effects of um, the uh, importance of water to life and every other living organism so now we consider the last one which is specimen j uh, specimen j is actually the cooked cooked form of specimen g yeah the cooked one so it still takes the same level so it will be caught in a longitudinal manner so you, this is the longitudinal section of it so you talk about the vitellin membrane the vitellin membrane surrounds the yolk then you have the chalaza as labeled two chalaza you have the thick albumen and the thin albumen so when you break the egg at the first place you the first part that is very close to the shell is a thin albumen so inside it you have the thick albumen so going inside it gets thicker until it gets the yolk then you have the germinal disc also which is within the yolk so um, we have the inner thin abdomen the vitellin membrane that surrounds the yolk and all that so you might be asked question on that and based on the specimen g you may you may also be asked about um how the eggs have been produced we have some that are produced as a result of reproduction 
and we have some that are produced or initiated in the production of this egg within the fowl is based on the type of food they eat so uh, majorly the layers they produce this by the uh, food they eat so the food they eat uh, helps to initiate the hormone that produces the egg then that's okay the hormone that acts on how the egg is being produced then it is different from when the um, reproduction process takes place where the egg is being uh, incubated or being covered by the mother and if it is otherwise the egg can also survive in the incubator so uh, this is the little we brought for you based on this exam so I uh, wish you success and I believe you make a good use of this particular piece thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel and share the video thank you